So we have this question 7. Copy and complete the following table for the relation y equal to all into bracket x plus 2 squared minus 3 for the interval negative 5 is less or equal to x is less or equal to 2. So this is the table. We are using scales of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis and 2 cm to 5 units on the, x, on the y axis. Draw the graph of the relation y equal 2 into bracket x plus 2 bracket cruise all squared minus 3 for the given interval. And use the graph to find a solution of 2 into bracket x plus 1, x plus 2 bracket cruise all squared equal 3. Then 2 all into bracket x plus 2 all squared equal 5. Therefore, what values of x from the graph is y increasing in the interval? So let's look at how we do this. So, this is the first blank space. That is when x equal negative 5. So, x equal negative 5. Y will be equal to two into bracket negative five plus two all square minus three. So this will be equal to two times three square, which is nine. So nine times two give us eighteen minus three, and that will give us fifteen. So repeat the same process. So this is fifteen. You repeat the same process for the second one too. Then you can use the other process to fill in the rest. Showing at least two is okay. Now, the complete table will look like this. The complete table will look like this. So the next thing to do is to plot this using the given skills. So if you plot all the points and draw the curve, you get your curve running from this to this. So that is it. We are done with the B part and the A part of the question. Then the C part. Use the graph to find a solution of this. So this first one. So this first one that I'm talking about over here. Is just the same as two into x plus two all squared minus three is equal to zero. So that is where the graph meets the y axis. But this is the graph that we have drawn. So why it meets the y axis? It's equal to zero over there. So that will be this.
and this point. So at that point, we have x to be equal to x to be equal to negative three point two two or x equal negative zero point seven eight Now the second one, we need to rewrite this to look like this, or to look like this. So you know, the actual thing is this thing. So that is the I, I aspect. We have two into X plus two r squared is equal to 5 is equal to 5 but this is the thing is equal to 5 but we can do something so that it will look like this that is subtracting 3 from both sides so when we subtract 3 from here and subtract it from here so minus 3 Minus three. We are doing the same to both sides. Then five minus three will give us two. So we compare this to the function given to us. The relation we will see that y is equal to two. So we'll go to our graph and draw the line y equal two. So this is one two. So two is here. Draw the line y equal two, and that will be here. So over here is it is over here we have x to be equal to negative three point six or uh, x is equal to so this point is negative negative 0 0.4 to one decimal place now the last part for what value of x from the graph is y increasing the interval so this is the minimum point so from this point up to this point the graph is increasing so the x values are x so the x values are x let me write it here x is x is greater than 2 x is greater than 2 x is greater than 2 but in the interval we have the last interval to be the last value of x to be 2 so x is greater than 2 but x is less than or equal to 2 in the interval because in the interval is added to it so it is from x more than 2 it's also negative 2 this is negative 2 not 2 so x, x more than negative 2 but x is less than or equal to positive 2. Because that is the last value in the interval.